Integral to the sound design of The Sims is of course the language that The Sims speak. I'm a linguist by trade and in this video I want to take a look at where Simlish actually comes from. I want to use some basic linguistics to see if we can learn something more about Simlish and eventually maybe decide whether Simlish is a proper language after all. Some of you might already know the origins of The Sims. Developer Will Wright wanted to find a good way for his Sims to express themselves and he wanted to do this in a sort of flexible way that was not tied to any region whatsoever but also a way that wouldn't be repetitive for the player. It needed to be something that fitted the quirky style of the game and at the same time left whatever was said open to the interpretation of the player. Initially the developers thought they might use musical cues but they quite quickly realized this didn't really convey the human side of The Sims and the idea was quite quickly scrapped. They then experimented with scripts that mixed languages like Navajo, Estonian and Ukrainian to form sort of a made up scrambled up language but even that they realized that the voice actor had kind of trouble making it sound fluent and really fitting it into The Sims. Eventually, after some frustration, they allowed the voice actor to improvise through a game of foreign poet in which you make up a poem with gibberish words and try to convey its meaning. This string of utter gibberish seemed to work and Will Wright and the other producers quickly asked the voice actor if he had a female counterpart that could help them out for the female voices. There's still some clips of the original voice actors riffing off of each other in the studio and it's a joy to watch, really. I highly recommend it. There are even some rarer clips of these two speaking English in the recording studio and for some reason that just does not compute in my head. Like these two are the voices of The Sims, not a real English speaking people. Later of course we also get some celebrities that come into the studio to record Simlish versions of their songs but I'll get into that a little bit later. Phonetically Simlish sounds a lot like American English and I'm saying specifically American English because if we take a look at the sound inventory that it uses, so the sounds that the voice actors use to say the words, they contain some of the very recognizable American sounds. One of these recognizable sounds is the er sound in American English, which you can hear in words like bird and water. This so-called R-colored vowel is quite rare across the world's languages, but in Simlish we see it in words like blursch or litzergam. It makes sense that Simlish sounds like American English because it's basically a case of giving an American English voice actor free reign to do whatever he wants, and it's quite common for people in general to make up as many words as they want, but people refrain a lot more from making up new sounds. This is a lot less common because already as young kids we slowly lose the ability to categorize and differentiate between sounds that are not present in our native language. Though it's generally possible to relearn these sounds, people tend to stick to the sounds that they know and are able to differentiate between and this is also the reason why people have accents when they speak a second language. It's also the reason that a lot of these TikToks that you might have seen as to why Italian or Polish with an American English accent sounds like Simlish because it's basically imposing American phonetics on words that don't exist in English. Speaking of accents, within the franchise we can actually find the odd occurrence of Simlish having been influenced by a real life language. In The Sims Living Large, for example, the sound design for the genius clearly influenced by Arabic and most notably in The Sims Superstar in Studio Town when getting some sushi, that Simlish is clearly influenced by Japanese. <laughs> This variety is also reflected in the orthography and writing system that Simlish uses. In The Sims 1, any sort of text is usually avoided and they prefer pictograms over any sort of graphemes, but by The Sims 2 we see a Simlish specific writing system appear on signs and television. In The Sims University, we even see Simlish variations of Greek letters being introduced for sororities and fraternities. If you're not American like me and don't know what this means, a lot of American sororities and fraternities use Greek letters for their names and so they carry this over in The Sims 2 and this actually led to possibly one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. As a young kid I got The Sims University, played with it a lot because I loved it and then in high school when I had my first ancient Greek classes my teacher asked me if anyone already knew some Greek letters and I proudly blurted out Orisha, Orele, Cham and god I will never forget the totally baffled face of my teacher just staring at me like it still makes me cringe to think about this 
to this day. We see more and more Simlish being used in later installments of the franchise and eventually we actually get some more interesting varieties. One of note that I actually want to mention was introduced with The Sims 4 Snowy Escape and is called Simji. It takes the original characters for Simlish that we know and sort of mixes and morphs them with hiragana, katakana and kanji that are used in Japanese orthography. The name Simji is therefore also a fusion of the words Simlish and kanji. An almost inevitable result of having a set of people improvise language for an extended period of time is that there will be patterns that emerge. One of these that I find particularly interesting that we see quite a lot of in Simlish is something that in linguistics we call reduplication. It's a very productive feature in a lot of real life languages like Bahasa Indonesia where it can be used to form non-exhaustive plurals like burung boring meaning all those birds. But even in English we can find some instances of reduplication. Sometimes you can repeat an entire word which in linguistics we would call full reduplication like in the English bye bye. Sometimes you can take it one step further and only change the vowel within that word like pitter patter and knick knack and chit chat. There's a lot to say about these patterns of reduplication and some in English are actually very interesting but let's stick to Simlish here for now. In Simlish we actually see a lot of full reduplication in some of the most well-known phrases in Simlish like sul sul Dag Dag, Chu Waga Chu Chu, Baba, Renato Renato, and so forth. We can even go as far as argue that there is some partial reduplication in words like Nubu or Hubanubi. Since there's no known grammar for Simlish, it's kind of left up to our imagination as to how reduplication in Simlish really works or what it exactly means, but I'd like to imagine that it has some pretty important grammatical and semantic functions. Speaking of semantics, let's finally have a look at what all of these words actually mean. Despite it starting off as improv, some of these Simlish words have been used so often or so clearly linked to an occurrence that over time they develop a meaning. One of the most well-known ones of these is the word nubu that sims say when they talk to or interact with their babies and has therefore come to mean baby. I actually think this is kind of interesting because I would have guessed it would have translated to something like sweetheart or darling or some pet name that you would give your baby because who actually calls their baby baby? It's a bit odd to me. Anyway, there are some phrases that now have an official translation provided by EA like sul sul meaning hello or dag dag meaning bye. In an interview with some of the voice actors for The Sims 4, they say that speaking Simlish is freeing because there's no meaning related to the words that they're saying, which suggests that at least for the voice acting for dialogue, there still is a level of improvisation used. This is confirmed by a later interview with the voice director for Maxis who says that 90% of the voice acting for dialogue is indeed improvised. They do note however that things with recording artists who record their songs in Simlish are a bit different. EA does appear to have a dictionary for Simlish that they use to translate these songs but wherever it falls short they make up words and they do this all in a way to kind of stick the lyricism and rhythm of the English song originally. The dictionary or word list that EA does have, they have never shared with the world, but I'd be super interested to see this one, to see how they've approached it, because the language being improvised, it must have been very inconsistent. Because of these inconsistencies, reconstructing the meaning of words and by extension reconstructing Simlish as a fully fledged language is very, very tricky, and I'll show you how tricky by some examples that I can give you. I wanna know that this is just a simplified example of how one might go about doing this. This is not the full proper linguistic ways. I don't want a flock of angry linguists coming after me. This is just an example simplified for fun. Like I said, EA has not released the word list that they use to translate songs to Simlish, but what we do have is a vast database of Simlish songs dating all the way back to The Sims 2 that have English equivalents. We even have some snippets of official Simlish transcriptions for English songs that were recorded by some of the voice actors who later shared their lyric sheet online. Both artists Brian Rice and EG have published the Simlish lyrics for their songs for The Sims 3 Nightlife and The Sims 4 High School Years on YouTube. For our mini piece of linguistic research, I'd like to use the transcriptions of some other Simlish songs as well to make a bit of a wider comparison. For this, I've used the transcriptions provided by Grand Goddess here on YouTube and give the channel a view if you're into Simlish music. I really like their transcriptions overall and they quite closely follow EA's style of writing Simlish, which is why I chose these. If we were to do this research properly, however, we would use a phonetic alphabet to transcribe these songs. In this case, linguists would prefer to work on the sound level because words are honestly just a made-up concept by humans to make language make a bit more sense to us. This can easily be illustrated by bedroom and living room, two concepts but one of them is two words and the other is only one and the spelling really doesn't do anything for the meaning of the word. I don't want to launch into a full-blown discussion on what constitutes a word and what doesn't. There are some great videos on the internet that do this but 
safe to say there are a lot of discussions about this, no one's really clear about it, and our perception of it is really shaped by the language that we speak and how we use it. For this example, I'll keep it simple and stick to the Latin alphabet, so let's get to the good stuff. A word that we find in the very first line of Brian Rice's There For You is one of the most common words in the English language. It's the word you. And we find it in the line, you hit the ground. It's translated here as vu in Simlish, and we can also hear this in the song. So let's have a peek at some other Simlish songs to see if we can find some other instances of the word you being translated as vu and thus collect some evidence for this idea. And we do in fact find a bunch of evidence for this in Anita's practice recorded for The Sims 4. You is very consistently translated to vu in like count on you, I send you my location, I know you ain't busy, hung up on you and taking you down. Even all the way back when Katy Perry recorded hot and cold for The Sims 2 apartment life, we can hear that vu is you in you change your mind. Okay, great. So now we have a couple examples that can back up that we could add the word vu as you to our dictionary for Simlish. However, upon some further inspection of the first song by Brian Rice, we already encounter a problem in line three. In the line, you fell out of existence, you got lost in the crowd, the first you is translated with vu, like we would expect, but the second one is translated with do. We can explain this away by saying it's a cool linguistic feature and maybe it's a variety of you and a second clause, but throughout the song we get some other translations for the word you, including do's and zoo and za. It might be a bit more inconsistent than we hoped, but again, maybe we can explain this by saying that you can be translated into different words depending on the context. This is not unheard of in real life languages, like in Italian, where you can translate you to tutti or te, depending on its position in the sentence or its emphasis. The problem that we have, however, is the data that we've acquired before, specifically that for Anita's song, where we have very consistent use of the word vu, and we don't see any of the variations that we see in Brian Rice's song. All right, so maybe you just turns out to be a bit of a complicated word and we should take a step back and look at a word that might be a little bit easier, a word that we maybe already know the translation of, so it's easy to check. We have the word baby to be confirmed Nubu in Simlish, and I think a lot of lyrics will probably use the word baby, so let's have a look to see if we can find some evidence for that. In Anita's practice, we indeed find an instance of the word baby being translated into Nubu in the sentence, we don't make babies. However, in Brian Rice's song, we walk into a problem because baby is translated as buese now. These instances of you and baby are just two examples I've given you now, but trust me, these translations are littered with inconsistencies, which honestly is expected from improvised language. Okay, so all of this is not to say that it's impossible to make a real life functioning language out of Simlish, but just to show you what kind of weird hoops we'd have to jump to to make this really work. Looking at the song translations overall, I can definitely tell that they get more consistent by The Sims 4, which probably is a natural result of the word list that they keep growing and growing and therefore being reflected more and more in their songs. For now, however, I think it's fair to say that Simlish is not a fully fledged and working language, which to be fair, I think is for the best. If Simlish did have a more rigid structure and grammar to the language, I think it would only inhibit the voice actors to get into this natural flow, and honestly, with how much people play this game, I think it would sound repetitive after all. That said, EA, if you do need a linguist to take this language to the next level and make it into a full package, you'd know where to find me now. Give me a call. That's it for today. The articles and sources and other videos that I've used for this video, I have linked down below in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye bye. Despite Simlish starting, <laughs> starting. Despite Simlish start. Despite Simlish starting off as an imp. <laughs>